This is a lead water line connection that was dug up 10 feet below my street, where the water main from the city connects to the 40 foot lead line buried underground and connects up into my basement to provide water for the home. There are millions of these hazardous lead lines in homes across America that need to be replaced. And after today, there will be one less. I think you're gonna be fascinated at how they change these from lead to copper. This saga began a couple weeks ago when I noticed this mud puddle on my front lawn that never dried up. I emailed the water department because it looked like a water leak. A couple days later, a man arrived with the listening stick. He touched it to the water pipe in my basement and was actually able to hear the water leaking. He told me that since this was a lead line, it needed to be replaced completely from the street all the way to the inside of my home. The good news, it wasn't going to cost me a thing. About three days later, the trucks came, blocked off my street, and the work began. The plan was to dig three holes, one in my basement, one in the street, and one on the front lawn. The one on the front lawn was first. They began digging right next to this large maple tree. They had to work their way through a lot of roots. While that was happening out front, another worker came inside and began busting up my basement floor where he would need to dig down about two and a half feet. Once they were satisfied with the depth on the front lawn, they brought another heavy machine in called a ditch witch. This is a directional trencher. This machine cuts a hole from underground with such accuracy that they can aim it directly at the hole they dug in my basement. They keep adding sections of pipe depending on how far they need to go. This device that the guy is using here locates the head of the cutting tool and he directs the trench operator accordingly. Once they break through the hole in my basement, they attach a one inch copper pipe to the trencher where it's reversed and pulls the copper tubing back through the hole. Now they need to dig under the street to connect the copper pipe to the water main. They have now exposed the water main where the worker shuts off the water to the house. Now they can cut off the old connection and begin boring a hole for the new copper pipe. The ditch witch turns around and begins drilling from the other side of the hole and into the street towards the main. Now he feeds the new copper line from the street a few feet towards the hole in the lawn. Once through, they connect the copper lines in the front lawn to this buffalo box, which is a pipe that has a shutoff valve. This is so that they can turn the water off from ground level. They call these buffalo boxes because they were first manufactured in Buffalo, New York. The buffalo box gets connected to the main. Now they reconnect the new copper line in the basement to the main supply in the house. They cement over the hole in the basement and fill the two holes outside. And that's how it's done.